Yellowstone National Park is the very definition of its name. It's wild, it's untamed, and absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. And within this park sits the Yellowstone Caldera, also known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano. This is one of the largest volcanoes on Earth, and it's home to more than just geysers. In fact, it's home to so much that many experts believe we have yet to discover some truly terrifying things about it. So today we're going to be looking at a few of those, and the biggest one of all, the eruption that could destroy us. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss our upcoming videos. First off, let's talk about what makes Yellowstone such an interesting place. It's home to some pretty amazing things like bison, bears, and wolves, but also some pretty amazing geological features. The park is full of hot springs, geysers, and mud pots. Some people might not realize it, but these are all signs of geothermal activity, meaning there's a lot going on under the surface. In fact, Yellowstone is home to the largest active volcanic system in the world. That's right, active. It's currently producing magma, and it's capable of producing huge eruptions. There are three main areas where the volcano is active. They are called magma chambers, or calderas. These areas are where magma collects before it erupts. The largest of these is the Yellowstone Caldera, which is also known as the Yellowstone Supervolcano. This caldera is about 43 by 28 miles wide, and it's home to the majority of Yellowstone's geothermal features. But it's not just home to them, it's also home to a lot of magma. In fact, it contains enough magma to fill up over 170,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's a lot of magma. Now you might be wondering what happens when all that magma erupts. Well, let me tell you. If the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt, it would be devastating. It would release between 2,400 and 5,000 cubic kilometers of ash and pumice. That's enough to bury the entire state of Montana in over 6 meters of debris. It would also release about 1,000 cubic kilometers of dense igneous flows, which would cover large parts of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. In addition, there would be pyroclastic flows, lahars, and floods of ash that would extend even further. And here's the really scary part. It doesn't seem like it would happen anytime soon, but it has happened in the past. In fact, the Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted three times in the past 2.1 million years, creating the three calderas that exist today. The first eruption was about 2.1 million years ago, and it created the Huckleberry Ridge caldera. This eruption was about 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash and lava. The second eruption was about 1.3 million years ago, and it created the Mesa Falls caldera. This one was a bit smaller, only about 500 cubic kilometers of ash and lava. And the third eruption was about 640,000 years ago, and it created the Lava Creek Caldera. This one was the biggest of the three, about 2,500 cubic kilometers of ash and lava. But here's the thing. While these eruptions were huge, they weren't the biggest in history. In fact, they're not even close. The biggest eruption in history was the Toba eruption in Indonesia about 74,000 years ago. This eruption was about 2,800 cubic kilometers of ash and lava, and it had global effects. The Tova eruption caused a volcanic winter, which led to a mass extinction. So if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt again, it would be bigger than Tova, much bigger. In fact, if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt with the same VEI, or Volcanic Explosivity Index rating, as its previous eruptions, it would be considered a super eruption. A super-eruption is defined as an eruption that deposits more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, and it's extremely rare. There have only been about 12 super-eruptions in the last 2.5 million years, and only three of them have been in the last 100,000 years. Now I know what you're thinking. What would happen if Yellowstone erupted with a VEI higher than its previous eruptions? Well, that's a great question, and unfortunately, we don't have a good answer. If Yellowstone were to erupt with a VEI of 8, it would deposit between 5,000 and 10000 cubic kilometers of material. There have only been two eruptions on Earth with a VII of 8, Krakatoa in 1883 and Mount Toba in 1991. 
Both of these eruptions were underwater and they had global effects. Krakatoa caused a tsunami that killed more than 36,000 people, and Mount Toba caused a volcanic winter that led to a mass extinction. If Yellowstone were to erupt with a VEI of 8, it would be different from Krakatoa and Mount Toba. For one, it wouldn't be underwater. Instead, it would be on land. This would mean that the eruption column wouldn't be limited by water depth. Instead, it would be limited by the height of the atmosphere, and the eruption column would reach into the stratosphere. As it rose, it would entrain water vapor and other gases. By the time it reached the top of the atmosphere, it would be a plume kilometers wide and hundreds of kilometers tall. This plume would spread ash and debris around the globe. The North American continent would receive the brunt of the ash, with the western half being completely buried under several meters of ash. The eastern half would still get significant amounts of ash, enough to block out the sun and cause a volcanic winter. Europe, Asia and Africa would also receive significant amounts of ash, enough to cause widespread crop failure and famine. The rest of the world would still get some ash, but it wouldn't be enough to cause major problems. If Yellowstone were to erupt with a VEI of 8, it would kill millions of people. The ash and debris would bury cities and towns, and the volcanic winter would cause widespread crop failure and famine. It would be a global catastrophe. But what are the chances of this actually happening? Well, according to the USGS, the chances of a super-eruption at Yellowstone in our lifetime are about 1 in 750,000. However, some scientists believe that this is an underestimate and the real risk may be much higher. Regardless, it's clear that if Yellowstone were to erupt with a VEI of 8, it would be devastating. The good news is that we're constantly monitoring Yellowstone for signs of increased activity. And so far, nothing has been detected that suggests an eruption is imminent. In fact, Yellowstone is behaving pretty much the same way it has for the last several million years. The magma chamber is slowly filling up with magma, and the pressure is slowly increasing. Eventually, the pressure will become too much, and the magma will break through the Earth's crust. When that happens, we can be sure that there will be some serious fireworks. But until then, we can rest easy knowing that Yellowstone is safely asleep. Or maybe we should say that out loud. I don't want to wake it up. What do you think? Is Yellowstone a ticking time bomb? Or is it just another beautiful place in nature? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our other videos. We have a ton of great content coming up that you won't want to miss. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.